All right, gang. Jason here for the love of tractors, and I'm with a load of parts that I got from my good friend Eric over at Rock and H Farm Toys. Uh, be sure to check out Rock and H. I love what Eric does over there. One, he's a world class truck builder, uh, semi builder. But two, uh, he kind of has a teacher's heart. He is uh, teaching people how to make their own custom trucks, do parts. He's kind of very, uh, very transparent on pretty much everything he does from uh, how he builds to how he gets parts made, how he prices parts uh, and prices things. It's really cool and I, it's really refreshing in our hobby to see that. Uh, you know, I think it used to be in the past a lot of people were really closed off and kind of, you know, don't share their secrets thing. Um, and Eric really is kind of an open book on that. And if uh, you have questions, I know he'll be glad to help you out. So uh, let's get to it. Uh, what I love about Rock and H Parts is they fit perfect. Uh, they're so easy to use. You basically got to paint them up and you're ready to go. And I love these service beds. These are my all-time favorite service beds to use. Uh, absolute, uh, just great looking um, beds. You've seen them. I've put them. I've put these on a dozen uh, Chevy C65s at this point, if not more. And that's where these will end up going. I got a whole bunch. I've got a dozen of them here from him. Um, just going to have to paint them up and get them going. Uh, like that. Now he sent me some sort of sampler parts as well. Um, so we've got some cool toolboxes. He's got some different size toolboxes than what I do. So with these smaller size, I can see, I can see me using the living daylights out of those. So those are really cool. Uh, he's got a, a different little different welder than what I do as well. So that's really cool. His compressor is bigger. Uh, and on a on a service truck like this, I'm kind of liking that idea of having a slightly bigger compressor than uh, the one that I typically use. We've got some acetylene tanks here. Those are very nice. Those are really cool. And his work crane, his cranes look great. Uh, I should probably, if he's heading to St. Louis, I should probably have him bring me about a dozen or so of those maybe. I'll think about that. But I love those, those cranes. You know, we have our own cranes that uh, extend and telescope and all that stuff. But uh, those are only good for certain projects. These are really great for these older um, service bed projects. Uh, and then I guess, did I show you the big compressor? So this is a, a real big, this would be like a shop air compressor. Very cool. Needs painted up, but, uh, super cool. Really like that. Uh, look, again, we, we've got one too. Uh, this size, look, 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 good size bigger than ours, I would say. So, uh, that's, what's really cool about this hobby is you can just about find everything to fit your exact needs on your model farm. Um, and there you go. So kind of a quick, simple video. Like I said, I got like a dozen or so of these. He makes different size uh, truck beds, by the way. Those aren't the only size he makes. He has bigger, uh, bigger service beds and things like that, all sorts of different kinds. I've used several kinds of his at this point, and they're all pretty cool. Um, but like I said, this is kind of my old favorite. This is sort of old faithful. This is what I see a lot of in our neck of the woods. So I try to, you know, get... 10 or 12 from him every year or so that way i can kind of keep projects rolling so anyway guys thanks for watching have yourselves a great day happy tractor hunting